Well, April 29th. Wasn't too bad to sleep last night. Furnace is working. I think it was down to six, five or six degrees. Up and at her. Uh, Walmart's gonna open in uh, five minutes or so. I'm gonna grab a few items. I'm gonna see if we can get some uh, reflective or something to cover this uh, roof vent opening. Keep a little more heat in. And yeah. Then on the road, this Fort McLeod first and then further north, heading towards St. Paul, Alberta. I don't owe, I don't owe, so it's off to Walmart I go, off to Walmart I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. Let's see what we can get here for morning coffee. I think there's a McDonald's in this Walmart. Hey, can you see? Oh yeah, you can see, see? The dream machine right over there. Doing good. She's doing good. Good morning. Find some reflective. Probably in the uh, garden center. Oh, it doesn't look like they have everything here. Maybe this this super store isn't so super. some reflective. I don't really need it for the windshield. I think I have one for the windshield. I do somewhere. I don't know where. It's kind of a lot just for that vent. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll find something else here. Maybe something in automotive. Do, 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 do something. Maybe Velcro I could use or something. Do, 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 do. What the? Look at that RV vent insulator. Well, that's exactly what I need. Ha ha ha. If you seek, you shall find. Usually. Sometimes I seek and I don't find. But it is a saying, so it must have worked out sometimes. Okay, that should do it for the vent. Now I need some sort of string or a curtain to go across the front. That would probably be in household, right? Ah, this would work or across the front and a curt shower curtain or something. But you know I got that sheet going across. Works just fine. Why waste money? No point wasting money. And I got the sheet for backup if I need extra warmth. Oh yeah. Okay. We're out of here. We do have a McDonald's here. I was going to stop and have something, but you know, I usually don't eat breakfast. So, uh, just carry on. And the next major town driving through is Fort McLeod. Fort McLeod. Yeah, 
video, see if she's going to fit. Oh, look at that. It just pops right in there. Continue on Alberta 3 East for 47 kilometers. City of Fort McLeod. I actually In got... 400 meters, turn right onto Fourth Avenue. Oh. Map's trying to direct me somewhere, but uh, I still got over half a tank of gas. So I think I'm just going to carry on, and we'll stop at the next place. Take the next right onto Fourth Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just bypassing Lethbridge. Went through Colehurst, I think it was. Continue on Township Road 94 for three kilometers. Three kilometers, kind of jotting around Lethbridge and then heading north up towards Viking. Well, just going past Picture Butte. The picture is beautiful. like a nice little town. Back on to the open highway. Enchant, Highway 36, 30 kilometers. Yeah, I think I could get on Highway 36. We're getting there. Only about another five hours to go. Oops, I did it again. Down to about eight tank of gas. There's supposed to be a petrol can up here about, uh, about 10 kilometers. I think I'm entering Brooks from the south here. Fuel's supposed to be about three kilometers ahead. Uh, the dream machine should make it. Station will be on the left. Yeah, I'm one step ahead of you. We made her. Your destination is on the left. Oh, good. It's not on my left, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> it's always nice to make it to the fuel station when you're almost empty. Not too bad, 135 to fill up. And I got me some more coffee, can't have too much coffee. And two Montgomery Jack and chicken. That'll keep me going.
Good stuff. Okay, back on the road. I gotta find my way out of Brooks. I think I'm in Brooks. Going by two hills. Went to junior high school here. Back in the day. Now, next stop will be uh, my destination for today St. Paul, Alberta. About uh, 40 minutes, I believe. Heading into the big town of St. Paul. Rain's coming. They should put out the little fires that Alberta has. Hope it doesn't screw up the climate change agenda. Yeah. St. Paul, my home for 35 years. Just gonna meet a couple other brothers at the uh, A&W. Take it from there. There's a truck I used to own when I had ran the security here. Now my brother owns it. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can I scare him? Is it on right now? Of course. Hello, you two. How you doing? Brother Rob? I'm Steve's brother Rob. Yeah. Brother Tom. Brother Tom. That's your Always trying to make a million. Camcorder? Oh, let me fix my hat. Oh, look. Is this what a camcorder has become? That small? That's what she said. Really? <laughs> small of my brother to his place. We got a boondock in his driveway. He's got an acreage. Plug in my van. It'll be kind of a treat. Have a few drinks and reminisce.